All right, so it's been a little over 70 days since we planted these uh, carrots, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, see how they're doing here. So let's see if we can find that here and see what we get. Yeah, that's an odd looking one. Oh, that's a good one. Cool. That's just a little guy. That's not a bad one either. This is another, another weird looking one. Alright, so some are bigger than others, and uh, some are growing different than others, but uh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to take these in and put them in the fridge, and then uh, feed these tops to the uh, tilapia. Okay, so the greenhouse is literally just going crazy. You can see this tomato plant is actually starting to reach outside of the greenhouse. These ones are almost to the vent. Uh, the cucumber plant is starting its ascent across the side, which is pretty neat. The bean plant is uh, keeping up with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little maintenance in here. All right, so here's a sucker. I'm gonna take these off. A lot easier to do with, with uh, scissors than just pinching them off, especially when they're this big. All right, so you can see this tomato here is starting to grow away away from the, the stake that I have in. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this, uh, this tape and uh, see if I can straighten it out a little bit. So uh, a little hard to do with one hand, so I'll be back with you. All right, so you can see I have it taped up and it's sitting a lot straighter. So I will let this grow until it starts uh, going sideways again on me and then I will have to attach something to the roof. So you can see this tomato plant here is, uh, is, just, is growing up really tall, but it also has a branch uh, that's growing out right here. And you can see there's a lot of weight on this branch. So uh, there are some tomatoes on, on this branch. So I want to go ahead and secure this to the roof. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my twine and uh, staple gun and uh, go from there. All right, so I attached my twine to the roof of the greenhouse and have it coming down here. And then I've attached uh, the, the tomato plant using this uh, gardening tape. And then I secured the, the line with a couple staples down here uh, just to hold it tight. So. Uh, that's that and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next ones you can kind of see that a little uh, mess of tomatoes back there that's pretty neat those are uh, purple Cherokees so uh, but anyway this uh, cucumber is looking for a place to grow so we're gonna go ahead and attach it to some twine that's gonna grow just like this uh, this other one over here so it'll kind of grow across the, the string and and uh, yeah so I'll, I'll be right back with you Okay, so I got the cucumber started growing up uh, this line that I just added, but I also noticed there was a bunch of other uh, green beans, uh, uh, vine, tendrils, whatever they're called, that are uh, coming off this other, this other green bean plant. So I got those started up there too, and, you know, I'll see what happens. But I also wanted to show you this. Uh, if you can see it back there, there is a huge cucumber coming in that I just did not see. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick that guy and uh, check it out. So th those are the normal guys. Um, I, I would, I'll probably give those a couple more days and then want to take them. You can see, you know, as, you know a, a ratio to my hand to the size of the cucumber. But this guy I just picked. Look at that thing. That is huge. That is awesome. So we'll take this in and uh, so I, I guess I'll just start pickling them. All right, so you can see this um, this bunch of uh, tomatoes down here, and uh, it's fallen over because of the weight. And literally, I mean, this is this is heavy. It's uh, it's it's pretty amazing with all, you know, the, the, all those tomatoes and being that heavy. I uh, I really can't wait to try these. All right, so I got the last uh, uh, twine uh, connected to the greenhouse, and I've started the uh, cucumber uh, vine over there to start uh, growing up. And uh, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this is going to work. Uh, I don't know if you can see right here, but that right there is actually a green bean vine that's intertwined itself into this cucumber. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. 
I guess uh, we'll wait and see because <laughs> this is this is just too big of a mess to get in there and, and do any maintenance. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep that in mind uh, for next year. All right, so this is what I'm taking out of the greenhouse. These are uh, cucumbers. Uh, these ones will be in the next couple days. And I also got some bell pepper over there that I'll be taking out uh, probably the next day or two. So that is that. All right, so here's an update on our blue tilapia. You can see they are just, they're getting really, really big. That guy's really, really big. Um, they've only been here for a couple weeks, but we feed them uh, a few times a day. And uh, we're probably going to end up actually taking this indoor system out and we're gonna replace it with a tilapia breeding room. So um, the, the tumbling toms, I really had to, as you can see, I really had to come in and, and cut all these up because they was just getting too bushy and it wasn't producing anything. So uh, I really do think that these, uh, these fluorescent lights just aren't, aren't sufficient enough to grow tomatoes. Uh, if you look at our bell pepper here, they're, they're, they're turning black and I have no idea why. So that's pretty weird. The other ones over here aren't doing it, so I don't know if this is some kind of disease or what, but uh, that's kind of a bummer. The peppers are not producing any peppers, and again, I'm sure it's because of the light. Uh, the ones outside in the uh, greenhouse are actually starting to produce habaneros, so uh, that's exciting, but it's uh, too bad for these. All right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, don't forget to check out our website at hdaquaponics.com. Uh, from there, you can find links to our Facebook fan page. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And uh, until next week.